Hello again, this is Hanging in Budapest and it's a trap I once fell for many, many, many years ago. It's a common idea for white in the Budapest which tries to take advantage of the black bishop which is caught offside and after the standard moves in the Budapest d4, knight f6, c4, e5 the Budapest counter gambit white can take that pawn hitting the knight which jumps to g4 and wants the pawn back on e5. Bishop f4 defends the pawn and knight c6 puts more pressure on e5 and white guards again with knight f3. Black would like to put another attacking piece on that pawn on e5. Would like to move like queen to e7 but not wanting to hem in the bishop on f8 Bishop b4 check is played first. White can defend with knight c3 or knight d2. Both good and acceptable. In this position knight d2 is played. And now queen e7 and the pawn on e5 is now being hit. Three times and it looks like black will be getting that pawn back. So white develops and strengthens the center with e3. And black regains the pawn. Knight g takes e5. Knight takes e5. And a knight takes e5. Bishop e2. White's ready to castle. So black castles and white castles as well. d6. Releasing the bishop on c8. And this looks all f fairly standard stuff. But here white plays a decent move. Knight b3. There's more in this move. Which originally or initially meets the eye. Because after the mistake now, bishop e6, white is winning after the move a3, and black is going to lose material. If the bishop drops back to c5, then we've got knight takes on c5, and if d takes c5, then bishop can pick up the knight on e5, and white is winning. So this has been Hanging in Budapest, a trap for white in the Budapest counter gambit. Hope you found it instructive and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.